Donald Trump's former national security adviser, John Bolton, told CNN that watching the former president over the years, it became evident that he was in over his head when it came to international affairs, particularly with dictators like Kim Jong-un. He began by discussing the Chinese plans for flying close to a U.S. jet and a ship sailing close to a U.S. Navy destroyer. According to Bolton, it's China trying to intimidate the United States and the Taiwanese government. These incidents, as you reported, indicated both on the sea and in the air, are part of a larger Chinese project, said Bolton. I think they're trying to warn the United States about keeping its commitments to Taiwan supplying it with weapons and the like. We saw a similar speech by the Chinese defense minister at the Shangri-La conference. He called for a strategic response that would show the U.S.'s might. The U.S. military currently invests 10 times more resources than China. CNN's Jim Acosta asked about North Korea, saying he assumed Bolton saw Trump's recent praise of dictator Kim Jong-un after the country was accepted onto the board of the World Health Organization. Well, your guess is as good as mine, Bolton said about why Trump might be giving a nod to Kim, I have tweeted about this and said this is one more piece of evidence why Donald Trump is not fit to be president. This is no joking matter. Kim Jong-un is a cruel dictator. His people are among the most impoverished in the world and building missiles to hit the United States and intimidate his regional neighbors. This is not something you pal around with. It just shows Trump has no real understanding of the depth of the threat that Kim Jong-un poses, and it is why four more years of Trump in control of foreign policy would be extraordinarily dangerous for the United States. Acosta remembered the summer in Singapore, where Trump was never able to secure a nuclear treaty, despite being the first president to set foot in North Korea. He asked Bolton about the strange friendship between the two men. Well, we saw warning signs in Trump's reaction to these letters that Kim sent him before the Singapore summit and then after, recalled Bolton. And now there is no doubt in my mind, these letters were written by some Communist Party hack in the agitprop of the North Korea Workers' Party, but they were filled with phrases like, Your Excellency, and he thought there were love letters. I shook my head. I don't think he understands what he's up against when he faces the hard men of contemporary international affairs. Kim Jong-un, Vladimir Putin, Xi Jinping, he just doesn't know what room he's in.